asked me, did he have anger when he was sick? Yes, he had anger, but not on his own behalf, but on behalf of others, especially for the children who were battling by his side at Memorial Sloan Kettering. He would look around and he would be like, we have cancer, what the heck? How could this be? He just felt it was unfair. He started to say, well, I want to start my own foundation. When I get well, I'm going to start my own foundation. I'm going to help all the other kids. and I'm going to do a lot of great things. This is my goal. Don't forget, Mom, we're doing this. Yes, Frankie, I promise you, when you get well, we will do it. My name is Camille Ochisano, and I am helping children who are battling pediatric cancer in the name of my son, Frankie. My son, Christopher, who is now five, was uh, diagnosed at four years old back in April 8th of 2010. Um, when we brought him to the hospital, they did several tests. Uh, we're admitting him for what they thought was a gastrointestinal problem and did an incidental CAT scan and found a tumor. We started accruing medical bills. I would get bills for 10 to 15 to $20,000 and get 60 cent checks from my insurance company, which obviously would not even come close to covering it. Uh, his surgery alone, one day worth of surgery, was almost $100,000. I was fortunate that I had the help I needed. There were so many parents out there who do not have the help. So when we found out about Frankie's mission, we had filled out an application thinking they might possibly be able to help us with some of our financial burden. And um, they reviewed our case and put it to their board and looked at everything we had and they did. They actually helped pay uh, basically our mortgage for several months, which allowed us to keep the house we're in. I have uh, heard from many families in the last couple of years that our organization is the only organization that actually touches the families. Uh, a board member will, will get involved. Frankie made it clear to his mom that all children should be helped, and that's what we do. And that's part of our mission statement. So we have to maintain the consistency with that. We have to be loyal to that mission statement, because that was Frankie's dream. So in terms of financial strat or anything like that, if there is a need and we determine that there is a need based on the interview process, we will help that family. In most cases, almost every family who comes to us does receive some help. How we're moving on after this whole uh, incident or life-changing moment, I would say, is, is very well. Uh, he, he recovered from treatment phenomenally. We consider it our own miracle. Every day that Camille uh, looks to the families that need that assistance. She is a hero. It's very easy to promote and put someone out front that has such a heartfelt understanding of what these families go through. She now almost takes you as part of her family and takes care of you. And to me, in, in the world today, that's a hero. Whenever there was a parent who was crying or who can't sleep at night, I want to be there for them. I hope to one day never ever have to turn away a child in true need.